Dragon Masters, Book 18, Eat the Lava Dragon. Chapter 2, A Strong Connection. Drake reached out to Worm with his mind. Worm, can you still hear me? I'm outside now. I can hear you, Worm said, because I am an Earth Dragon. I can think break right through the powers of the Stone Dragon that have made me a statue. I just need more energy. Where can you get more energy? Drake asked him. From you, Drake, Worm replied. We have a strong connection. Our combined energy should give me the power I need. What do I need to do? Drake asked. Close your eyes, Worm said. Concentrate on me. Imagine your energy connecting to mine. Drake closed his eyes. He imagined a green wave glowing energy reaching all the way to Navit to touching the Earth Dragon. Drake, your dragon stone is glowing very brightly, Dana cried. Like every dragon master, Drake wore a piece of dragon stone around his neck. It glowed whatever he connected with the worm. Now imagine me breaking through the stone, worm instructed. Drake pictured the worm as he last in him a big stone statue. He imagined the stone cracking. He pictured the worm breaking free. In his vision, the gray stone shattered into a million bits. The stone dust blew away. There's the worm, worm with his round scales, his kind eyes, and big shaggy head. The light from Drake Dragonstone was too bright now that he could see it through his closed eyelids. His whole body tingled as the energy flowed through it. Come on, worm, he thought. You can do it. Break free. The light from his Dragonstone faded. Drake opened his eyes. Worm wasn't there. Drake looked at Dana and Hilda. I don't think it worried, worked, he said. Suddenly, a green light flashed in front of him, and he jumped back. The, when the light faded, a large brown dragon sat there. Worm, Drake cried. 